Hello guys, good morning. It's me again, Ryan, back with a boring recap. Really boring recap. Today we have few movers. I, I don't know. I just picked the wrong stock. I end up green, uh, but I could have made more profit if I picked the right one. So uh, let's look at the watch list. So we have NXPI up five percent, MRK two percent and yeah those those are my first two pick and i have grub yeah so grub it's down 33.10 percent which is a lot so yeah let's have a quick look don't judge me in here let's look at grub it's funny because i i shorted grub like right exactly here i was shorting it but i was pressing the wrong shortcut key instead of shorting at the ask i was shorting at the bid and the thing is when you're shorting at the bid the stock is an ssr there's no way for you to get in you will get an error uh that the stock is on short sell restriction and the thing is you know when you're panicking sometimes you don't know what to do uh you can't read properly I said, oh, I'm missing, I'm like, I'm like, I'm missing this move. So I, I don't know what to do. And I didn't want to chase it. So I, I tried it a few times, even in market order. I tried it a few times. It says like error or something. I, I can't even read the, uh, what's the error. So I only realized it that I was pressing the, sh the wrong hotkey after finishing mrk trade so imagine if i shorted here that seriously i promise this is where i shorted it here like probably i'll probably take profit here and i don't know maybe here right so imagine this could have been a really really good profit but the thing is my sh my short sell has shifts i should have included shift in my shortcut so i can only short <clears throat> at the ass so imagine i did short here it did uptick and my stop will probably at the very top, uh, which is you know, 39.40 or something. Yeah. Which I was just frustrating. But I ended up trading uh, Mark. Because Mark was um, having a hard time with VWAP. Uh, I was kind of long biased to this one. But it was having a hard time with VWAP. It did mate this week. But it was just not strong. Because if it goes above VWAP, I'll probably... Take it long for the break of this one and to here. But the thing is, it was just weak. And then I, you know, shorted it a, li a, a bit f too far from VWAP. Shorted it and made my money here. So <clears throat> almost one hour, but uh, it's not even one hour because it was just moving too fast. So, yeah. It's just, and then my, 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 my mentality is not right at all. So... I said, should I stop trading or should I try one more? And this this squeeze, I was hoping for a uh, five minute opening range. So this is five minutes, right? And then I was hoping for five minute orb to here. And yeah, it was it just dumped and I almost got stopped. And after that, I said, I'm going to stop trading and just watch. Yeah. It was... Uh, Grub was really frustrating. Oh yeah, we have NXPI too. And I don't know why I didn't pick NXPI over Mark. X NXPI made a better move. So from 114.40, it made about um, more than a dollar move. And then this could have been a really good profit too. Yeah. It's just not perfect today. Could have entered long here as well. But yeah, let's uh, let's watch. Let's just uh, have a quick look with my mark trade, and let's just yeah, let's worry about tomorrow. Hi, rating. Yeah, so at this time I was actually watching uh, Grub, so because um, Mark was not the one who moved a lot i mean in terms of volume so yeah 
I was looking at Grub now. Grub is like 800,000 volume. Really good. Yeah, so I kind of chased it. I should have entered somewhere here. That's like a 40 cent move. And I was scared when I chased this. I said, why did I chase that? So it's good. It's going my direction. Uh, I was basically risking this much, which is about... Uh, what's this? Uh... Yeah, what about 40 cents, if I'm not wrong. No, 30 cents. So I took some off here. Just like that. Almost 1R. The thing is, I didn't get to total 1R because of this. I should have taken more profit here instead. And yeah, my last few percent of my trade was here. So I got almost 1R, but not full 1R. And I got, you know, and then squeezed back. And then I entered long, <laughs> which is a really bad move. If I've if I'm gonna enter long, it should be somewhere at the VWAP, and then probably stop somewhere here. But yeah, it was just it was just moving too fast, and then I'm still suffering from the grub miss, the grub trade that I miss. Yeah, there are days that this will happen. So see, I, yeah, I almost got stopped here. Stopped somewhere here. And when I went back to my position, when I went back to my um, uh, price, I said, should I wait? And this are like huge moves. I waited for a bit. I almost got stopped here and just give back all whatever I made. Yeah, I just, I, I'd stop. So I said, okay, I'll stop. And then look what happened. If I didn't stop there, done. Like giving all back my profit. Yeah, so sometimes, you know, you really have to accept a loss like this. A very small loss, but you have to... Uh, keep training yourself to accept early then regret later right so imagine if i didn't if i didn't stop here i probably give back all my profit with a small loss since this i think since this is my tra second trade i was risking higher i was ris risking more because uh this made a really uh big move and i was risking somewhere here but yeah i yeah, this was probably an area where you want to get in. Yeah, sorry if this video is boring. Um, get no, nothing to share. So please, please, if you haven't, please, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for all the support, for all the messages I've been getting. Um, yeah, hope you learned something from here. See you guys. Bye. Have a good one. Peace.